What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here and today we're going to be talking about holsters. Uh, actually we're going to be talking about Daria holsters. This holster right here is a Daria holster for the Walter PPQ that you see here. This is my first and maybe my only Daria holster, we'll see in the future, but I had to do a couple of modifications to get this holster more to my liking. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the price of the holster. This is a custom holster. I completely customized and built for me. It took about six weeks and it cost me around a hundred bucks. Uh, a couple of reasons for that, as you can see, is the, uh, the leather uh, styled black kydex, which I really like. I think that's pretty cool. It has a uh, front competition cut and it's able to accept a Surefire XC1. Now if you look for a holster for a Walter PPQ with a Surefire XC1, you will come up with probably zero holsters. Uh, at least that's what I came up with when I went and searched for them. So I ended up contacting Dari Holster and uh, getting this holster made for me. And like I said, they'll make you anything you want, any lights or accessories or anything you want, as long as you go on their custom uh, store there online, if you can figure out how to operate it. Their, their website's just a hair confusing. But once you figure out how to operate it, you can get any type of holster that you want. Well, one of the issues that I have with this holster, besides it being almost $100, is that when it showed up, I felt like it was moderately poor quality. Now, I made a previous review on this holster the day that I got it. I was, I was a little upset. I waited six weeks, paid 100 bucks, and what I got, I felt like wasn't what I ordered. And maybe that's because I'm used to Blade Tech products. Uh, the Blade Tech drop offset holster, specifically that I have for a 2011, is probably my favorite holster I've ever owned. Uh, also similar to like Comtech holsters if you guys know anything about those but they're very sleek and they're made for quick draw basically and if you want something with a competition cut in front of it you know it's not for inside the waistband carry you know you're gonna want it to draw really quickly so when I got it I was unimpressed with how it works so what I did what I ended up doing as you can see there is I I mean if I should roll in video of the previous holster of course you'll see that I highly modified this myself I used a Dremel and a uh, cutting wheel and I cut almost all this extra material that I felt like held the holster inside the holster too much. I also opened this competition cut. When the competition cut came to me, it was just a little window there that the pistol couldn't even come through. And what I mean by that is if you have a competition cut like this, when you draw, instead of having to draw up too far to pull the pistol out with a competition cut, you can just pull it out right here and slide it through. So it increases your draw speed just a little bit and it's easier for guys like me who have long arms so I don't have to pull my arm up so far to get the pistol out of the holster. And again, this is a certain specific type of holster. It's not a, a you know class three retention holster or anything like that. So, you know, I cut that completely out, smoothed all that out because again, the edges were rather hard. And this part right here in particular, which I think, especially on a quicker draw holster, should always be empty so you can grab the pistol and you can get a full high grip on the pistol. I cut all this out as well. Now you can see that doesn't really affect the functionality of the holster too much. I have it pretty loose right now, but you can see no hands on it, it still holds it relatively well. And another big upgrade that I did to this pistol, as you can see, it's offset. So I originally ordered it with an offset, but when I got it, it came with this attachment that Daria holster sends with their pistol, or pistol holsters, I guess and it sat right around in there. So even though it was a drop offset, you couldn't get your thumb in there to hold onto the pistol. So I'm not sure if they just make holsters without actually trying them out, but I really was not impressed with the way it was uh, attached to my belt. So what I did was I went to Blade Tech's website, and I'm not sponsored with Blade Tech or anything, I just think they make awesome holsters, and I got an offset attachment for 10 bucks, and then I got one of their other belt attachments for I don't remember how much this costs, but they're nice because you can adjust them for belt size and stuff like that. So just basically to replicate my 2011 holster with the PPQ because I really like the PPQ and I wanted a super awesome range holster for it. And that's exactly what this is. It's a range holster so I look cool when I'm drawing on video. And it works out really well for me. Now I'm not going to I'm not gonna down Daria holsters too much because first off I wouldn't have this setup without them to begin with. So if there wasn't a company out there that may makes holsters for the XC1 and the PPQ, I wouldn't have been able to modify it to uh, my specifications. So all in all, I think they're great holsters. I think they make a decent product. I think 
maybe I just needed to customize it a little bit for myself, maybe I'm just too picky. But if you want uh, holsters, especially for guns that are uncommon, like if you want an XC1 on a, you know, a SIG 320 or something like that, something that's, you know, harder to come by than a Glock or an M&P, maybe check out Daria Holsters, go to their custom uh, part of their page, and they'll probably be able to make you up just about anything that you want, including this kind of unicorn holster that you see in front of you here. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. Check you later. Out.